So welcome to my video, which is an introduction to Spinnaker watches. Now, please subscribe to this channel because I'll be bringing you lots of new videos in the next few weeks. And I think one of the things we're addressing in this video, and I think we'll be addressing in the other videos, but from the other end of the spectrum is value. How much should you spend on a watch? And what does the price mean? And I'm a great fan in believing that watches should be fun. And I really, really resent some people who say you have to spend this on a watch or you have to spend that. People have all sorts of different budgets and the guy who spends 200 pounds on a watch or 100 pounds on a watch should equally be as passionate and as enthusiastic as the person who can spend 100,000. And I just think it's important that people understand that what they should be looking for is skill and quality and not necessarily the price tag. As I sit in uh, rainy Elstree um, at our office, I can see a lot of very, very glamorous activity going on in Geneva at the moment at SIHH. And I think this is, we don't occupy that industry with a Page and Cooper. We occupy something that where you have to do a bit of investigation, but hopefully at all the price points we sell, you're getting something unique, you're getting something that's very, very well made, and you're getting something with a very interesting history. Now you may ask, what is the history on Spinnaker watches? I think that's a fair question. And I'll explain to you why um, or how I became involved with Spinnaker watches. I um, regularly travel to some of the shows and sometimes the big shows are not where you meet the interesting people. And I was interest, introduced by another manufacturer of ours to um, Spinnaker. And Spinnaker are actually owned by a fairly large, a fairly substantial uh, watchmaking uh, industry um, specialist who produces a lot of watches and they're really very experienced. But what impressed me was I met the owner of the company and his father, so it's a family business, and they were really passionate about what they're doing and they spent a lot of time with me explaining what they were trying to do and how the watch the watch was developed and the ideas they had. And, and I very firmly believe that when you buy a watch, you should be buying personality. And it so much reflects on any of the watches that we sell, the personality of the people who make them. And we had such a nice chat. We went out for dinner in the evening and I just really was enthusiastic about their passion. And even to this day, if I call the owner on his mobile, he'll call me back within 10 minutes about what's happening. Very, very supportive. But I, again, I had this question in my mind, of, well, how could they be at this sort of price level? So what I did was um, they sent me a watch to, to, to travel with and they sent along a watch, one of these ones here, and I proceeded over the last year to really try and abuse it. I wanted to see how it performed and it was faultless. It was great, it was comfortable to wear, it was colourful and did everything that I wanted it to do. And I think this is the point. We like to sell watches that people love. The price matters, but I don't see why you can't have value as well in some circumstances. And I think where your value comes back with Spinnaker is the level of knowledge from the manufacturer, their buying ability in terms of their buying a lot of components and negotiate very good um, deals, the team behind it, the design team, the manufacturing team, which is fairly substantial. And this is like a very well oiled machine. So that efficiency actually comes to you in terms of the sale price. In fact, I had a very open and honest conversation with the owner and I said, you know, about pricing. And he said, well, I can provide you with a fancy box and a fancy um, instruction manual and, and all this, but you'll have to pay for it. And I think he's very much focused on getting a great watch that works well onto your wrist. And the, the dream of, of the family is that Spinnaker becomes like a collection. You buy one or two or three Spinnakers because you like what they're doing. And I certainly think from what's come out in the last year and what's uh, just come out now, they're getting it right. And I'll explain to you why. But first of all, let me just... Um, introduce you to the range very briefly. This is not a review of each watch, we'll do that separately. But let me just tell you how the range works. First of all, um, we have the Bradner, which is here. Now the Bradner was reviewed on a blog to watch and I thought it was a really interesting review because I think the Bradner, you'll know where its influences are taken from. Um, and I think it's really interesting that someone's offering a different shape with the, uh, where it can show sort of the influences it's worked from but it's something unique. It's not trying to go for the standard sort of sub-diver look or it's not going to try and go for the chronograph look. It's trying to go for that unique part of watchmaking history. And this is the point about Spinnaker. The guys at Spinnaker know what they're doing and we're going to see some interesting stuff like the Dumas coming out. And I think they're really, it means that you can have something on your wrist that has the influences of unique watchmaking design for an accessible price. Again, the Bradner's a good example of their attention to detail. You've got 150 meter water resistance, sapphire crystal, you've got um, uh, internal rotating bezel here, super luminova on the numerals, and I'll do some loom shots for you, sunray dial, and again, rotating around, you've got different finishing on the case, and again, a display back, and most spinnaker watches have a display back. 
I'll go through the features in, in a few individual videos, but I mean, just suffice to say that Spinnaker depth rating is about 150 to 300 meters, depending on the model. So that's the Bradner, which like I said, got this great review on a blog to watch. And I think people started making comments and then actually said, do you know what, at that price, what a great value watch. And I think they are. Stunning value and a great look. And one of our customers, if you look on Instagram, put some really great videos of, of his Bradner on with different straps and everything. And a great watch that you can wear in a lot of ways. Now, the next watch I want to show you is the Cahill. Now, the Cahill's been a real hit, especially with these new colorways. And this is the New England model, which really has been a hit on Instagram. And again, I just want to attend, put your attention to on some of the design elements here. You've got a very nice PVD case. Um, it's actually gloss PVD, but you've got some different finishing. You've got brushing, glossing. Um, mineral insert here on the, on the bezel. Um, again, superluminova. And I'll do a loom shot because, again, this is Swiss superluminova C3. But I really thought the, the colorways in this were very nice. The sort of matte, the, sorry, the black, the uh, sort of gray, and then the uh, green were really interesting colorways. But again, when I was looking at this closely, I looked at the applied numerals, which are brushed, and I thought, well, I brushed them. But then actually, when you look, it's really interesting because as it catches the light, actually, it looks like a no numeral dial and then a numeral dial. It's a really pleasing thing to have on your wrist. The brushed indices are matched by the brushed Mercedes style hands. You've got a date window here framed and the crosshairs. Moving around again, as I said you've got this PVD case, and again a display back on the back. This is powered, sorry, as I should say, by the Bradner with the venerable Seiko movements, which are great. Um, and again, going on to movements, again, this is a discussion I've been having with a few of my manufacturers. At this price level, you can't knock Seiko. They make a great movement which offers a lot of value um, and and works. And that's the point. It's an automatic watch that works faultlessly, and you cannot fault Seiko for that. Moving on, we've now got the Croft. And again, the Croft, oh, sorry, not there, the Croft. There we go. The Croft. And again, the Croft is another exceptional piece of dive watch value. It's really beautifully made. When you pick this up, there's a real heft to it. It's 43 millimeters. Have a look at the dial. You've got a very nice textured dial, Fume dial, a nice um, gold applied indices. Um, the hands themselves are gold with, again, Swiss Superluminova C3. Lovely, lovely box crystal here. A magnifier on the crystal. Lovely 120 quick bezel. And again, look at, look, look, no play. Really nice bezel. Screw down crown. And again, if you open the back, you can see there's the automatic movement in. And this case, it's Miota. But I'll go into that in a moment with the Miota movement. Putting this down again. I Now, I haven't got any fluices here because I just didn't know what to bring. But I'll put some videos in of me handling a fluice so you can just see. Very simple, classic diver with a text dial. Um, and then I'll pick it up and we'll go to the hull. Now the hull's been a real favorite of Mrs. P and C. But again, this has a real construction here that's interesting. A mixture of brushing and polishing on the case and you can see where the influences from the case have come from. But again, look at this, this is a sandwich dial. You've got a very nice sort of fume sandpaper dial, cutouts below to the dial underneath, which again is super luminova C3 for great legibility. Frame date window, polished and brushed hands here. And again, moving it around, you can see very nice case shapes and angles. Again, the display back, again, showing the Miyota movement in. This is printed with the Spinnaker logo. And again, I should say that all of these straps, you know, are great, well-made, comfortable and waterproof. And from that, let me go on to the watch that I wore on holiday. And this is the watch I took. I wanted to take the most affordable watch in the range. Now, this is the Spence. Uh, colourful, fun to wear, a nice size. Um, the Spence is a 41.5 millimetres. But as I was, I literally got this watch in, grabbed it, chucked it and went on the plane on holiday. And as I put it on, on the plane, I thought, oh, there's some extra wrapping adherence things that I hadn't seen in other manufacturers' watches. So they were so carefully packaged. You can see here that there's actually, and I've, let me take it off now for this video. There's actually a sort of cover here, which they put over the bezel. And I just thought, it's just a, such a nice attention to detail. Now you can see the bezel shine. But I actually swam with that. And again, when I came off the plane, I thought, oh, I haven't brought any NATO straps with me. But then I turned the strap over and saw that the leather straps are actually waterproof. So this is the swatch that I wore on holiday. I didn't look after it particularly. Uh, Mrs. PNC wore it as well. But again, it's, it's great. It's clarity. It's good. It's got this nice sort of white silver dial here, sort of white dial with a sort of flake in it. Applied indices, very nice hands here, orange dive hand. Lovely aluminium bezel insert. Again, you know, look at great bezel. You know, really nice positive action. Screw down crown with protected lugs. And again, you rotate it round and you've got the venerable Seiko movement in here. And again, a great walk as it is. So I chose the most affordable watch to wear on holiday and it performed admirably. Really, really, 
nice and clever and well 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 worn and again i was really impressed that this watch just did the job which is great and again it looked colorful for holiday and so many of our customers they like to buy a watch to go on holiday with and why not take something that's fun now on that note let me just move you on to the tessie now this is where the story gets interesting i think some people try and pigeonhole manufacturers a lot of manufacturers have the ability to call on different parts of their organizations or fellow companies to do certain parts of 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 their construction so late last year um, Spinnaker introduced their first bronze model which I thought was an interesting case design and was their first Swiss made model but they were able to put this watch together out of bronze they put a Solita automatic movement in they use Solita quite a lot um, a Solita automatic movement in and offer something that was really a bit different and one of my customers a really good customer and I should say a good friend of mine as well was in the office and he's bought a lot of very very expensive watches from me he's a great customer very discerning um, very particular he's a photographer um, and always ask very very intelligent and and, and um, perceptive questions and he saw the spinnaker and said you know what I like that now he's originally from Africa and was going back to Africa and didn't want to travel to Africa with one of his expensive watches so I said to him take along the bronze we know each other very well and see how you get on and he loved this bronze um, I'm going to pop in some of his safari pictures for you so you can see his, his some of his work which is excellent of course um, but also you know some really excellent pictures but again the point was that he was traveling somewhere he wanted to wear an automatic watch i always feel naked without a, a proper watch on and he wanted to wear something that he didn't really worry about and he really enjoyed this watch it was well made it was kept great time and again he's got the patina now and the memories of a holiday and i thought that represented quite a nice part of this journey buy a watch that you can enjoy you can have fun with but actually you're not too worried about if it gets damaged or it's or it's something happens to it um, I should say that, that, that Spinnaker have put a great deal of effort into helping us with customer service in the UK. So if you have a problem there, they're to help straight away, which is great. Um, and the good thing and the nice thing is that when I call or WhatsApp the owner of Spinnaker, he usually comes back to me um, within 10 or 15 minutes. And it's just really nice to have that relationship. So we had the bronze Tessie, which was, again, a different sort of shape from them. And I saw that they did a titanium model. And I asked them to send me one, and I just got very much addicted to this watch, and I'll explain to you why. This is a grade five titanium watch, and again, there's a lot of subtleties. So the water resistance on the titanium watch is 200 meters, the water resistance on the bronze is 300 meters. But what I thought was interesting about this was, again, it's a very different feel, great bezel on here, um, you've got um, aluminum insert, titanium grade five, I just really like the detail on the bezel protected lugs here and again i took this home over the holidays and i really abused this watch i have to be honest with you it got a lot of abuse and moving around and sharing and when i turned the watch over when i first got it i thought oh it's not got a seiko movement it's got a miyota movement it's not decorated it's a bit of a shame i wish they put the swiss movement in however this thing went like a workhorse i would use it i'd abuse it um, the power reserve is fantastic it kept running and i think sometimes you've got to think about watches as a very pragmatic tool this thing is a great tool it works it's comfortable it's really legible you've got again very nice sort of textured dial here applied indices brushed indices super new luminova just a really great and attractive piece and i just thought for someone looking for a tool a modern tool dive watch i just thought what a great value and again with this movement fit for purpose so i was really impressed by this and to be honest it's become part of my collection it's just a great comfortable easy watch to wear now as I said, I'll do some loom shots for you so you can see some loom. Um, there's a lot of exciting things coming out from Spinnaker. And one of the things that's just announced, and actually I will bring you reviews on these watches, but one was the Dumas. And this is a good example of the knowledge of the owners of Spinnaker and the direction they want to go into. Now, the Dumas is, is based really on, I would say, and forgive me, um, forgive me, Spinnaker, if I get this wrong, on one of those really interesting mid-70s Amiga divers. And... I love anything quirky. I've said it so many times in these videos. Anything with an unusual case is nice. And of course, it's great value, which means that we can indulge our passion without too much wrath incurred by our partners. And I think that's a really good thing. And I think where Spinnaker are going is quite clever. Um, again, as I said, with the um, with the Croft coming out, there's some really nice bracelets coming out, which really give a different feel to the watch, but a really nice quality. There's a lot of straps and bracelets coming out. The Dumas will come on a really excellent mesh bracelet, which to, which we were giving away free. So anyone who pre-orders, so anyone who orders before the end of January will get a free um, mesh bracelet. And I just think they're going in a really interesting direction. And as I said, I believe that everyone should have the ability to collect watches. I think price should not be a factor. 
and I, I really like it when people get very enthusiastic about a watch they've bought from me, which we might seem is relatively inexpensive, but I think it's a significant addition. And if it encourages people to love watches, then that's all the better. So there you go. This is an introduction to Spinnaker, a bit of our reasoning behind it. Now, many of you will have many questions about Spinnaker. Please just give us a call, um, drop in. We've got most of the watches here in stock ready to go for you to see. Or, or give us an email and we'll happily guide you to finding a Spinnaker that might be a welcome addition to your collection or a fast new friend. As usual, please subscribe and thanks for watching.